Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to swaddle your baby properly. A lot of parents tell me that they have a difficult time swaddling their baby because they like their arms out of the swaddle. And actually that is um, not true. <laughs> Babies, when they're born, they're used to being enclosed. They're used to being tight and swaddled inside of the womb. So when you have your baby and their arms are flailing out, what happens is they startle. And it's a reflex that happens that is, it makes their arms go up and out and up. So, so basically, if they get scared or nervous or they're in pain or anything at all, their arms are instinctively going to do this. See? Did you get that right there? So her arm went up and out and in. And parents think, oh, she doesn't want her arms in the swaddle. But actually, it's not true at all. It's simply a reflex. And look where else her reflex is going is right to her mouth. She's nervous because her arms are not swaddled. So we're gonna swaddle her today and make her feel nice and happy. So you get the triangle, you put it down, and we're gonna get baby. I'm gonna take her passy out, and I'll show you if she gets fussy, how nicely the swaddle will calm her down. This is a cold blanket, so she's gonna start waking up. You put her head and ears right aligned at the top of the blanket, and this is the trick. This is what all of the NICU nurses know that I would love to teach you. You take their hand, and you just tuck it right underneath your triangle. So it's trapped, and trapped is probably not the best word, but that's exactly what it is. It makes them comfortable. When you tuck them in, you can even just bend their legs a little bit, bend their knees, and that makes their tummy and their digestive system happy. And we're gonna tuck this all in. Roll the baby slightly. Don't roll her too much. We don't want a big bun bunch under there. That would be really uncomfortable. And put her back on her back. So this arm is never gonna come out. Not until she's about three months old is she gonna be able to get that out. So that's gonna keep her sleeping longer. It's gonna keep her happy and not as fussy as normal. So then you take your, the bottom and you bring it up. If you have a lot of blanket, you can kind of just tuck it around again. And you get your other side, and we do the exact same thing to this other side. You take your triangle, you just tuck her little hand right in, and she automatically wants to bring it up because that's her instinct. So we have her hand right there, it's not going anywhere. And we fold it in. Once you're going down like this, then you can take the bottom of your blanket and let's make the, this is the burrito part. So we hold this down and then we're gonna go up again like this. And it's not the most perfect swallow because I don't have the best blankie for it. You wanna use, um, you can use flannel blankets that are about a yard uh, and maybe just a little bit shorter. So a lot of people get these muslin blankets and they're made of muslin, this one's made of cotton but they're just really stretchy and they stretch either which way these are actually really useless <laughs> these are actually kind of useless when it comes to swaddling if you want to keep your baby in a tight swaddle with them comfortable and sleeping longer don't use the muslin blankets even though they're really expensive and they're supposed to be awesome use the flannel blankets in the summer just use one you only need to dress your baby in one extra layer than what you're wearing so if you're wearing a t-shirt and shorts then you can baby baby can be in a onesie and one blankie.